Did you know your brain can produce viruses? Well, kind of. Come with me. Dr. Dan, I'm a neuroimmunologist here at Florida Atlantic University. There's a researcher named Jason Shepard, and he was under, trying to understand how neurons communicate with each other and how that might impact learning and memory. So he was looking at this one specific protein called ARC, and ARC is a immediate early gene. Immediate early genes are genes that turn on right away after neuronal activity. So not much is known about ARC, and he decided to purify it and look at it under a big old microscope that allows us to see the structure of the protein. He found that actually it kind of looks like a virus. And it looks like this soccer ball with these points on it that is very, very similar to a viral structure. So next they thought, well, can this thing that looks like a virus actually be released from a cell and infect other neurons? And a matter of fact, they can. These viral-like particles actually release from neurons and they get into other neurons. But what do they do? These particles actually transmit mRNA, some genetic material, from one neuron to the other. Transmission of genetic material is actually important for normal learning and memory. And they found if they got rid of this ARC gene that mice don't learn as well. So next time you're learning something, remember that it's these self-made viruses that are helping us connect our neurons together.